Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabby. For those of you joining me for the very first time, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm excited that you're here. Stay tuned if you're interested in learning how to achieve this makeup look. And let's go right into the video. So I picked up the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. And this is supposed to rub your skin and then also be used as a setting spray. So we're going to use that today. I picked up the scent Coconut. The second product that we're going to go in with is also a product that I've never used before. I picked up Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I don't know this shade. The shade is Neutral Brown. I'm not sure how it's picking up on camera, but I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. So now that we've completed the eyebrows, the eyebrows are done. I picked up these two palettes by Maybelline. It's the Lemonade Craze and Maybelline Soda Pop. So here's a closer look of them. So I want to go in with the Soda Pop one, which has a really, really cute purple and kind of like orangey tones. I really, really like this one. The only thing that I am going to use that's not drugstore is my concealer for my eyelid just to prep my eyelid. This is a little bit thicker consistency and I really want to, for it to show up really, really good. I'm going to dab on my eyelid and go ahead and disperse that with my sponge. Just to cancel any discoloration. This kind of gives you, doing that gives you like a clean, clear canvas. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and set that. And I'm going to go in with my first transition shade, which will be the ginger ale color right here. And I'm taking my Morphe M504 brush and then just putting that from the brow bone, kind of working that a bit downward. And this will help the colors kind of melt in and blend smoothly. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M518 and I'm taking the orangey color, which is Crushing, and working that from my crease, I kind of want to blow this color out. I like my eyeshadow, like my transition, top transition color just to be blown out. Just because I have hooded eyes and I feel like if I put everything in the crease, it just gets hidden. Next, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics B5 brush and going into Cola Float, which is this kind of brownish color. So this one's a little bit more precise. We won't hide the orange, and that'll just kind of intensify the crease. Next, with an even more precise brush, it's, um, one of my Morphe brushes for my kit, which is looks a little bit more tapered, as you can see. I am taking Cherry on top, which is this very pretty purple color. And that I am putting it in the crease, tapping off the excess. And start by kind of packing it at first. This color kind of gets washed out. Because when I... I'm blending, I notice that it kind of washes out a bit. Next I'll be taking Cherry Cola. And just putting it all over my lid.
Lastly, to finish up the makeup look and kind of tie it in with the orange, I'm going in with Tonic, which is this shade right here. I'm putting that over Cherry Cola. I'm kind of going to add another tone to that color. I'm going to go back in with my DH Cosmetics and just bring in a bit more of the Cola Float. I feel like it was kind of lost. I'm also going to put tonic in the inner corner to really brighten that up. And then I'm going to throw just a little bit in my brow bone. For time's sake, I went ahead and add, completed my other eye off camera, added the Ardell lashes on. I really do like them. Now for foundation, this is a repurchase. It's the Infallible 24 Fresh Wear. If you can see here, and I am in the color 425. I will be applying this to my face with my Real Techniques sponge. Next for concealer, I will be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have this in the shade number 10, which is Fair. The coverage is actually pretty good. I just purchased this concealer before. I don't really know why I stopped. I, I really like the my naked one, but this is definitely like a very good drugstore concealer. Now, to set my under eye. Guys, this isn't at Walmart. This isn't at Walgreens, but it is very, very affordable. This is the RM, RCMA No Color Powder. I've had this for years, okay? So it's definitely a bang for your buck. You buy one of these little containers and it'll last you a long time. I'm taking this with my Real Techniques. Of course, it's And I'm putting this to bake underneath my, my eyes. While that's baking, I'm going to take a my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Compact. And I'm in the shade 130, which is Buff Beige. And I'll be taking that with a MAC brush, the MAC brush that I always use to set my face. And this is a dual fiber brush, so it's actually like you can use it for liquid foundation as well as... Next I picked up the Lumi Bronze It by L'Oreal and it's in the color Light. This has a little bit, it looks like it has a little bit of gold flakes, which I'm kind of excited but kind of scared about. I'm taking my BH Cosmetics V2 and putting that in the hollows of my cheekbones just to bring in more color. You know, you don't want to look wash, washed out. Underneath my chin area just to create some shadow next I'll be using blush and I picked up another one of Milani's um, big blushes and this one is Dulce pink and it's also a very very pretty pink I'm taking one of my Morphe brushes that I have in a set putting this in the apples of my starting in the apples of my cheeks and kind of bringing it back it looks very very pretty and I like this brush because it's slanted so it's kind of like it helps me distribute the product evenly and bring it back and if you don't know where the apples of your cheeks are you can just smile and it's this part right here and you start there and then sweep it back It's a very, very pretty color. Now I'm taking a Real Techniques brush, which is the contour brush, and I'm just taking 
of the baked powder underneath. I'm going to go ahead and let you know what I did to my under eye. The under eye, because I did finish it up with the palette. And so I took some of the Cola Float. I'm just going to tuck it up here underneath to really smoke it out. And some of Cherry on top with that same brush. Just kind of distributing at the bottom, blowing it out. For highlights guys let me tell you this highlight i absolutely love i did purchase this highlight months and months ago um my niece actually wore it um to a birthday and i'm like what highlight are you wearing because it was just like popping in your face the maybelline master chrome in molten gold guys do not sleep do not sleep on this highlight okay i'm taking my morphe r36 brush let me show you you see that so you put it on the top of your cheeks I'm doing it on the tip of my nose my cupid's bow on the bridge of my nose and then whatever's left I just kind of put it on the high points of my face put it a little bit on my chin just so it kind of catches the light I'm also gonna be taking a more precise brush which is the morphe r41 and i'm actually putting this in the inner corner just so the inner corner really really pops you can see there it's like amazing i love this is one of my favorite 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 highlights next so let me tell you about this product that was so impressed by it. I found this infallible pro matte liquid lipstick by L'Oreal let me tell you guys I tried a few shades a few shades on my hand okay came home washed the dishes I took my son a bath did so many things and it was still on the back of my hand it's like water was running through it did not budge I was so impressed with it I picked up the shade 848 which is dose of cocoa and since we did a more bolder eye look I'm going in with this this more toned down lip color scented it smells like cocoa I don't necessarily love it but if it fades I'm okay with it if it was something that would linger throughout the whole day I don't personally want to be smelling like cocoa all day you know I want to smell other things but I really do like the application it doesn't feel super dry even though it is a matte liquid lipstick let's go ahead and set our face again because remember the three-in-one primer water does set that does feel good so just a quick overview of the products that i bought the pro matte liquid lipstick would repurchase the setting powder very very good um the fit me matte and coreless compact the setting powder i honestly was impressed with it i've been using that for years and i really like it it does look like skin it looks very good like i said before this stuff this is the second time i buy this amazing Master Chrome, I would definitely repurchase. This is the only one I've bought so far, but I would definitely buy it again. Fit Me Concealer, I've used in the past. Super, super good, love it, would repurchase. Milani, I mean, you guys already know that I love Lumino Luminoso, so I definitely would repurchase this. I just like the tone. Um, the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It, I think I would just like to try the next shade up just to see if it has a little bit more of a bronzy feel. As far as the eyeshadow palettes, I'm on the fence. This eye look looks really, really good, but I feel like it doesn't have even, like that pigment. When I use my Morphe palettes, it's like as soon as you put the brush down, there's pigment. And this you really really have to build I would say this is a probably a good palette for a beginner you know um, something that you can build 
color on because those other palettes as soon as you put color down it it's on there like you can tell if you messed up whatever this very very good for a beginner as far as the lemonade craze let me know if you guys want me to do a um a makeup tutorial on it to see what looks we can, I can come up with and so you guys can see the pink. The dual, I want to say that the dual is just something that I would not repurchase. I didn't like the color of it. I didn't like the consistency. I think I would just stick to my tardiest um, glue by Tarte. I really wouldn't want to repurchase this. That concludes all the products that I purchased and that I used for this video. So guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. 